Thank you for tuning in to Belmont Journal News Now. I'm Joanna Juvelis, news producer. Every month, Habitat in Belmont features an artist in their gallery. April's artist is Janet McCausland. We met up with her recently to learn more about her and her art. It's, uh, I'm, I'm Janet McCausland, and I live in Rainham, Massachusetts, which is midway between Boston and Providence. I grew up in Newton, not far from here. And I have been doing photography since I was about 15, when my dad introduced me to a, a black and white darkroom. And uh, I studied art, but I just love the cleanliness and the precision of photography. I photograph the outdoors primarily. I prefer to do outdoor portraiture if I'm doing portraiture, but I mostly focus on the animals and the colors, very important. Photography is, uh, to quote Ansel Adams, I think said that there are two people in every picture, the photographer and the person looking at the photograph. I was very happy when I got the Cardinal Kiss picture. I, I'd had foot surgery and I had to stay home. So I set up a blind and sat and waited and waited and watched. And when I got that picture and I looked at the monitor and I knew I had captured it, I, I just jumped up and I called my friend Ed, who's helping me set up, and I told him I got this great picture and I was just very happy. Well, I, I think that I've managed to capture a lot of really beautiful moments. And um, I, I have some pictures that people just love and they want to take them home. Um, this was taken in Saskatchewan, Canada. And a lot of people think they have to go to Iceland to capture an image of the aurora, and Iceland has done a wonderful job of promoting their, their island, but you really just have to go north. And a lot of people also think you have to go in the dead of winter, but that's not true either. This was in September. So that was Grand Prismatic Springs out in Yellowstone, and I took a series of photographs um, so that you know, this, this would be one picture vertical, another picture vertical, you overlap them. And you, you take all these pictures and then you string them together in Photoshop so that you have a really large, beautifully grained, fine-grained image that blows up nicely. This one is interesting because it's a, a panned image where you actually move the camera while you're photographing. So that's very trendy right now. This is one column lily which I photographed from different angles and I was intrigued by the way the light was hitting it. And it's actually a bright yellow color lily which I toned down to this very pale shade of almost ivory. And I laid out a format so that it would be a panorama and fit over someone's bed or sofa and I did a triptych, which is kind of a classic thing to do, but um, I put them together. And to me, they, they looked like they were dancing. Crystals that formed on this dandelion seed um, are very rare. They're uh, some sort of an uh, obelisk shape. Before, I took that picture quite a while ago, um, probably, 2009 or 10 and um, before it and I've never seen it since. 